The best password attack is a targeted password attack. Often when you're attacking an organization during a pen test, you might get a hold of their password policy. And if you want to create a custom password list to spray based on that password policy, you need to know how to make custom rules in John the Ripper. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is I had to do this recently on the K2 room on Try Hack Me, which if you haven't done it, check out that room. It is amazing, but it took me way too long to figure out this process because I stumbled across videos and random websites on Google and I don't feel like they did a good job explaining it or my reading comprehension just sucks or it's a combination of both. So in this video, I wanna show you how to make custom password rules in John the Ripper so you can then make a custom password list. Now in this room, let me go ahead and share my screen. You eventually stumble across a note and it's called this note to James. So if we cat out note to James, here is the note. Hello, James. Your password, Rocky, was found to only contain alphabetical characters. I have removed your remote access for now. At the very least, adhere to the new password policy. Like, come on, James. So we have three rules. The length of the password must be in between 6 to 12 characters. It must include at least one special character, and it must include at least one number between the ranges of 0 and 999. So let's just think about this for a second. If we pull up our notepad and we'll look at this password rule. So we know the password is Rocky. That's the password. And he's gonna keep the same password, but he's just gonna update it a little bit. That's kind of the hint that we are given. So it must be in between six and 12 characters. So we'll keep that in mind, but it must include at least one special character. So it could be like Rocky exclamation mark or exclamation mark Rocky. It also says it must include at least one number between the ranges of zero and 999. So it could be like Rocky one or Rocky one, two, three, or one, two, three, or three, two, one. So those, that's what we are working with. Now to create a custom password list to spray with, you can do this a few different ways. You can try to use Python to do it, but I wanted to use John the Ripper and see if I could figure it out. And I was able to figure it out. And I want to walk you guys through the process. The first thing that we need to do is find the configuration file for John. So I'm going to do that right now. If we just do locate john.conf like so, you can see we have Etsy John john.conf. So let's go there. We'll do nano etsy john john dot conf and I actually think i oh actually it's unwritable you can see the message right here we need to open that as the root user so we'll do sudo nano etsy john john dot config type in our sudo password and i believe i already did this so i'm going to go to my custom rule but i'm going to delete it and redo it now one little hint for you in nano you can actually search for text by doing control w on your keyboard so i'm going to do control w like though like so it brings up search and we can type custom password and i bet oh it's not found okay well sweet maybe i didn't do it did i call it like hack smarter that's what i call most things <laughs> i did call it hack smarter all right we'll, we'll delete this i'm going to remake this entire thing and i'll explain what is going on so we'll just delete this rule right here and i'll explain what the heck you are looking at so the first step i'll just do all of it in john in the config file you can really put this anywhere so i'm just adding it right here but you can do it anywhere in the config file we need to set up a custom rule so our step number one of making a custom rule is setting a name you can kind of see some of these other rules right here it does list out rules and then names it so let's do the same thing we'll do list out rules and we'll call it custom password like so and we will hit enter now we need to make our custom password and if we go back We'll cat the note to James. We can see this once again. We must include one special character and number. So the special character to, could be uh, prepended to the beginning of Rock U or appended to the end. And same with the number. It could be prepended to Rock U or appended to the end. Now, if we go over to Google and just type like John custom rules, I think it's the carrot key. Does that append or prepend? And here is the issue I had, guys. And I was trying to figure this out. Like, John Custom Rules Docs. We'll see if I can find what I was looking at before and how I eventually pieced this together. So here is from OpenWall. This is the official John the Ripper documentation. 
and we have some simple commands here. So if we look at this, this, the caret key, is going to prefix the word with the character X, and this is going to append the character X to the word. So if we go back over to our terminal right here in Nano, we need to do that very thing. So we need to make multiple uh, rules in our custom password rule. So remember, we could have it at the beginning of RockU or at the end of RockU. So let's begin with the beginning of RockU. We could have... We'll do the carrot key. So this is going to add whatever we put here to the beginning of Rock You and make a custom password list. We could say, hey, it could have one number in the front because remember, it could be any number from zero to 999. So it might just have one number at the front and it might just have one special character at the front. And for simplicity, we'll just add a few different special characters in here like so and close that out. So what this is gonna do is we'll take any number from zero to nine in a special character and add it to the front of the password. So I don't know what just happened there. If our password is rock you, what this first rule might do is it might do a three and an exclamation mark and rock you when we run it. But we need of course more than that. So if we just copy our custom password so far, we just need to add another number because remember it can be up to three digits. So let's do that. We'll do the same thing. Zero, not nine, zero through nine, like so. And carrot key. We'll do that again. I'm going to copy it, drop it down here, paste it in and add another number since it can have up to three different digits. And carrot key to prepend all of that. And that looks good to me, but now we need to repeat the process because what if it's at the end? It could be prepended or prefixed to the beginning, or it could also be at the end. So let's just copy all of our password lists so far. And I'll drop down here, paste them in. But instead of carrot keys, we want dollar signs. Because if we look back at the rules right here, it says the dollar sign will append the character to the word. So it'll put it at the end of the word. So let's do that instead. For each one of these rules, we'll change that to a dollar sign. Change that to a dollar sign, change that to a dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Just about as much money as I make streaming. I make like no money streaming. This is more dollar signs than I make streaming, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Dollar sign. We got carrot key, carrot key, carrot key, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. We're going to save it with control X on our keyboard, type Y to save the modified buffer. And we have now created our custom password rule, but now we need to create the custom password list. So let's just do nano and we'll type this as uh, rock you password dot text and we're just going to add a rock you to this file because that's going to be our base password if you had more than one password you get at all all of them there and it would use those rules in every password in that list now we are going to do john like so word list equals rock is it rock you yeah rock you password dot text our rules was custom password and don't forget our little detail here it has to be between six and 12 characters so we need to add some flags in order to get that we can say a minimum length of six and a max length of 12 so it's between six and 12 characters and standard definition out and we can save it to a custom um, passwords.txt like so cross our fingers and I typed length wrong because I'm dumb and don't know how to spell. <laughs> so let's, let's fix that like so. All right, now if we cat custom passwords, you can see we have a bunch of passwords following those different password rules. And now we can try to give ac get access to Jbold's account. Now I showed you in a previous video how you can use Curbroot to do password spraying, and that's exactly what we are going to do. But I realized I deleted Curbroot. So let's go ahead and grab it. Actually, I think it's still in my downloads. So we'll CP from my downloads folder, grab Curbroot, yep, and we'll just save it right there. We'll move it just because I don't like typing all that out. We'll make it executable. And once again, I showed all this in a previous video, so I'm not spending a lot of time explaining the curb root process here, but we'll do curb root. And now we can do a brute user. We'll pass it our DC, which is correct right here. THM, we need to give it our domain, which is k2.thm, and we're gonna do our custom passwords list, and we are gonna attack the jbold user like so, and we will cross our fingers as we do this. 
Now, we found it right away. You can see that right there. A valid login, jbold, um, hashtag, or pound sign eight, rock you, and we were able to do it. So in this video, I showed you how we can make custom password rules with rock you. We can then create a custom password list based on those rules. And imagine the real world. Let's say we're targeting an organization called Try Hack Me, for instance. We could put in there, Try Hack Me is one of the base words, welcome is a base word, summer is a base word. You would be surprised how many Active Directory accounts you could compromise right now in a real company's environment by just password spraying summer 2024 exclamation mark. So we can take some of those common words, make a custom password list based on their password policy, and then try to password spray to see if we can get access to any accounts. And you will be surprised it is more effective than you think using some of these simple password lists in combination with the password rule in combination with a company's password policy. So hey, hope you found this helpful. And as usual, I read all of the comments on my video. So if you have a question about something I I did, maybe something was confusing or you have a better process, let me know. I would love to learn as well. So let me know in a comment. We'd love to hear from you then. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.